Hello, hello everybody. Let's do something different for now. Uh, of course, I'm wearing my new Brazil 94 World Cup winning jersey. I, if you saw my previous video, you know I absolutely loved it. This is actually more or less the first time I'm really wearing it. But I thought let's do something different. You see, now this is I think a fourth or a fifth video in a row where you have all these NHL jerseys hanging there. And they're gonna come down uh, tomorrow in the morning because I'm planning to do something different. I'm not quite decided yet. I will discuss with my family, especially my daughters, what they wanna hang here. But I thought let's look at my NHL collection a little bit because that's the second largest I have. And this is the entire thing. This is the entire collection that you see here. And I wanna go through it somewhat chronologically. Let, let, let me put this football jersey, American football jersey down that we really have. The entire collection here. The first ever hockey jersey that I owned. It's not an NHL jersey, it's this Canada jersey. That's the one that I won the Olympics 2002 in. It's a Nike jersey, the only Nike jersey that I have. Uh, but I got it in 2005 when the Hockey World Cup was in Austria and we got tickets to Canada, Sweden in the second round. <laughs> Tremendous game. Uh, I think Sweden won 6-5, something like that. And, and, and I think Canada was up 5-3, something like that. And you know, I always like Canada. Uh, what Brazil is to is in a way to me in soccer, but it's even more like that is Canada. I, I actually lately, lately I don't like Brazil as much, but I always, uh, for me, Brazil and Canada are similar um, in those two sports. It's a very heavy jersey. If you ever had a hockey jersey, this is super heavy. It has, of course, huge ventilation holes here. The only downside here is, as compared to the, all the others, the crest here is just a plastic transfer, although I love it. And yeah, it's a cool jersey. Um, the only thing is I got it in X large and you can see it. It's humongous. I need to wear a pullover under, otherwise this is way too big. But that was my first hockey jersey. Show you the trim here. It's an absolute classic striping. Hockey jersey striping. You have here the red and here the red. I would like to have a nice Canada jersey. Actually the one that I like most is the one that they were at the 2010 Olympics. That would be the one that I really would like to have. But this one, for a start, quite good. But then, yeah, uh, my brother actually had a few NHL jerseys before I ever had some. My first NHL jersey that I had, and this was right around the time, it was 2006, Lockhart had, um, was gone. And there was news that, yeah, the league will adopt an entire new um, set. Everyone will have the same supply and rebook, meaning jerseys went on sale. And I got a little bit late in the game, but I got my favorite team at the time was the Colorado, Colorado Avalanche, and I wanted to have the white jersey that they won the Stanley Cup in 2001 in. It's not exactly this one, this is actually the version that they have in 2007. Um, there's a really nice page where you can see the differences. Uh, it's mostly the shading is a little bit darker, but you know, it's CCM, with a classic hockey jersey. Well, and I got the, and you can see it's already a little bit beaten up, but I know how to fix it meanwhile. Really nice jersey overall. Um, I love the big A. It's a very modern logo. Uh, and yeah, the player that I liked back then was Peter Forsberg. However, if when I said I need to put a number on it, uh, my brother always put Sackick on there. And I said the one memory that I have of the Colorado Avalanche in 2001 winning the Stanley Cup was Ray Borg finally lifting the cup. To this day, when I watch these scenes, I'm sobbing like crazy. So. I got a Ray Bork and of course 77 is also my birth year. So for that reason it made all the sense in the world to get the 77 and I love how sturdy those numbers. This is really tackly twill. This is like a real hockey jersey. The nameplate, it's all perfect. And very important, the logos here are also stitched logos. This is real and also the, the sleeve numbers. This is all real stuff. So really cool jersey, the A as well. Yes, it's a 90s look, but I actually like it, especially the mountain outline on the bottom. And I was so happy when they finally went back to that look in uh, past year, because they, for uh, 10 years, they were just wearing something 
I really hate it and it made me actually not like the Avalanche. And they were, for the most time, uh, my favorite team. Actually, my first hockey NHL game was over the Atlant Atlanta Threshers against the Colorado Avalanche with all the superstars that I had there. Yes, this was the first one and in the same order I got this one. Uh, the Vancouver Canucks. Yes, they are the rivals, but the jersey was so cheap that I just had to get it because I always thought that this Orca logo is the coolest logo in the entire NHL. And the white one looks actually much better than the black one. Yes, these are not the cars that Vancouver is using anymore. And I had really some thoughts of about it because I knew that there was a rivalry between uh, the Avalanche and Vancouver. But by that time I had visited Vancouver already and I actually really liked the city. And it would become a very important city in my life later on. And I absolutely like this jersey. It looks great. The stick and rink logo, the classic one. Uh, and I like the silver strapping. I see the crest is coming slightly off here, but again, that is fixable, fortunately. And it's also the same lightweight material. Um, really, really nice. And yeah, that's the second one. In the same year, I moved to from South Carolina to North Carolina and I knew I would be relatively close to Raleigh where the Carolina Hurricanes are playing in there. That was always one of my dreams, watch regular NHL games. And of course, for the first game, I went in the Canada jersey, but I knew I have to get a Carolina Hurricanes jersey. They will be, they're going to be my team now. And to a degree, they still are my team. So. I got the rebook. I was going back and forth. Shall I try to get a cheap one of these or shall I get the, um, the new one? The new one won me over for some reason, but I'm quite happy about this one. I didn't like the piping around the shoulders. Nowadays it looks all right, but back then I didn't like it. Um, and of course I needed to get it with a number. I chose the captain. Rod Brindamore, who of course also lifted the Stanley Cup. Note the Reebok logo here, it will be important for future jerseys. And again, the numbers are tackle twill. These are really sturdy, glued on there. There's the nameplate, it's really heavy. Uh, if you wear it, it really pulls you a little bit on the back. But I always like this jersey. It has the just the storm flags and i know many uh people don't like the storm flags i always thought this is something special that carolina had and it's also that the sleeves are red and then you have the black and the white um i like it because it gives some lightness it's not all red that's what i like about this one that it manages to balance the colors i really would like to get i would have gotten the white version i always thought my next church as will, will be the white version of this one Never got to it, although I like the white. It just switches the red and the um, uh, white, more or less. Uh, but it looked cool. It really looked nice. Uh, they have now an, a different version. is also quite nice. But um, I like that one a little bit better. Then, then the current one is a little bit more clean. But the one thing is that this logo here is just now... I mean, it's uh, fabric, but everything is printed on there. So got already a little bit towards the uh, and, and you can see there's actually a little bit of usage already there so this comes unfortunately off that is a little downside of the newer jerseys and of course there are so many uh, pulls on there I think here on the sleeves you can see uh, this material uh, it's actually two materials and all the Reebok jerseys have that the front material here has all the pulls and this is actually the material of the match jerseys that the players wear and then here the same thing on the side uh, very weird concept and the back is all the real player material that's very very nicely ventilated for stretch material so this is number four number five was 2008 i was going a little bit uh, ebay crazy and of course I was looking for soccer shirts, but then I saw a shirt that I remember seeing in my local sports store here in Linz. Not with the exact number here, but that I always loved. It's the original Pittsburgh Penguins 
third jersey. They had it in Jag with Jager, Jager and Jager back then. But of course, I was playing the Penguins on NHL 95, 96, 98 and so on. And this was the jersey that I loved, the black with the penguin. And I have never seen the original penguin up until then. I thought this is the logo and I actually thought it's so cool. And that it is, you know, the band, it's extending here. And here's a little bit more yellow. Of course, the color gradient was a big thing. And you see right from the captain C, I had to get Mario Lemieux. This is a medium and it's a little bit short on the sleeves, but I just saw this one and I said, I have to get this for me. I always wanted to have this one, got it for a, re a reasonable price. It's a real beauty and uh, you can actually see it a little bit. If this, uh, the number was, wasn't on there, the pattern stops right here. There's this white stripe would stop right here. It does actually stop right where the six stops. And then it goes in the other. So this is the best version. <laughs> this is the best version where you can have it. it actually looks still okay. Um, the other weird thing about this one is the asymmetric sleeves. Uh, you can even see the number here, the 66 here, is a little bit higher, I think, than on the other one. Here we have the straps, and here we have some diagonal strapping. So it's an actual asymmetric jersey. I absolutely loved it. I know Hockey by Design says it's the worst Penguins jersey. This was the first one that I really saw and I loved it from the beginning and so it still looks awesome. So we're at number five. As I said, I was having mini plans for the Carolina Hurricanes. And uh, so this is 10 games every year and I had this for three years and I think in the second year they came out with the third jersey and the third jersey weren't selling that great but they gave them I think a 20% to season ticket holders and I went with friends there and they kind of convinced me let's get this jersey you need it because they also play in black at home so I got it that's the third jersey of the Carolina Hurricanes they were wearing this up until uh, the previous season <sighs> I was expecting the black, but I never liked the, 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 the gray here. But the alternate logo is on there, is okay. And this one I actually like still better than the one that they use now with the two flags. I know this is a tropical storm warning and not a hurricane warning. Um, I didn't like that the storm flags are a little bit more in gray. And then you have only the black, uh, the red outline here. It is, there's some outline missing here, I think. And then the one thing that I really, really didn't like is that the major crest, and you see here the wear on it, is all in gray. Never really liked that one. And here it's even worn down more. That this is in red and gray didn't bother me so much. So initially I never really liked this one. I thought there's always something missing, especially as a black jersey, although it makes sense with the club's uh, colors that they had a black jersey. But funnily enough, I started liking it a lot because this was kind of my nice looking hockey jersey. It's a little bit of an understated look. Yes, there's the uh, logo on there, but of all the jerseys that I have, this is the one I go to when I want to look a little bit more classy, if you want to say. So yeah, and so it, I got quite some use out of that one. So, number five, and this is how I left America with five original hockey jerseys. And when I heard in 2017 that they're gonna switch to Adidas, I knew now is the time to get some of the Reebok jerseys. But I saw and the sale was never really on, and da 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 da, until I found the hockey guy, which is a big inspiration to m making my channel finally. And also looking on sales pages, and I remember last year Christmas, I was looking at a German US sporting goods site, and they had this jersey on sale Pittsburgh Penguins. Uh, I got the patch in, in addition, twice defending champions. So, this is the 2017 Stanley Cup champions patch. Um, I got it on sale. It was still expensive, 120 euros or something like that. But when I saw this one, 
the day on the day release of I think it was in 2015 I want to say or 16 15 I said I really want to have this one and actually I wanted to have the white version of this one but the black one was wasn't sale and at the moment this is my favorite hockey jersey it's just the penguin looks so classic the strap in here then the shoulder yoke that's kind of implied and then the yellow sleeves with the black and the white on there the yellow color and i got of course the other number 71 which is Yevgeny malkin uh the other star of course there should be an a on there that i couldn't get and i'm still looking for it to maybe add it on but i got a really nice service they stitched this on for myself for me very nicely the logo usually is glued but they put the seams on there so really good service t-a-a-s-s dot com i really can recommend this store they sell good stuff here it says Reebok it's not the Reebok logo anymore unfortunately the numbers now it's not the same thing anymore this is the similar material as the shoulder stickers that i had so this is the first one that i ordered in my crazy time since last christmas and uh, roughly summer but it's not the first one that i got this is i got a third because of all the alterations because of this i had to wait for it for four weeks it was an agonizing wait but it's so worth it this is a really nice shirt at the moment my absolute favorite one again i wanted to have a white pittsburgh jersey but yeah was not to be but the other one that I really was looking forward to is to get a Vancouver home jersey because they, as I said, Vancouver became a special city for me. Why? My wife and I got together there. This is where our relationship really, really took off. A meeting for a conference in Vancouver. And then Vancouver, the Canucks had changed their colors to blue with the green on the bottom and this is such a unique and beautiful jersey i remember showing it to my wife right after christmas got this one i think for 70 bucks instead of uh, the 120 30 that they sold it for so that was a no-brainer and she liked it i liked it i still like this orca logo and maybe this one looks even better because this is eyes it's breaking out doesn't have the red teeth that the other one had didn't get it with a number though Sedins would have made sense. Uh, the stick in ring logo is updated. So that one looks nice. Overall, really nice jersey. So, what other teams did I want to get? I said, yeah, one that I really wanted to get always because of Orange, Netherlands, Orange, the Philadelphia Flyers. I went on Amazon. I almost bought the current Fanatics version. I'm happy I didn't. Because I hear that the Fanatics shirts, uh, unlike the Adidas ones, are horrible. Uh, the Adidas ones run for 200 euros. The Fanatics one would have run for 110. And I was really about to buy it. I said, no, no, no. Let's look on Amazon if they have one. And I find this one. It was an XL. All the iron hockey jerseys I usually wear L. It was an XL. For 25 euros. And I told my wife, I cannot not buy this. I want to have this. is the Flyers jersey that I always wanted to have. The orange one. And I know. Penguins and Flyers don't like each other. Uh, I like them both. I, always, the Penguins are my second favorite team after the Hurricanes. Maybe together with the Avalanche and Vancouver. I think those are my top four. But I always like the Flyers, especially for the orange look. The classic Flyers logo, one of the best on there. And this is just the 1970s Flyers style, reinterpreted with the white bottom strap. It is so such a bright orange. You cannot not love it, unless you hate orange. And then, of course, the black sleeve cuffs. Absolutely great. No, it's an XL. That's the only downside. It's I need to wear it with a pullover, otherwise it's just way too white. And then this was kind of, yeah, I bought three jerseys for Christmas. This one was really cheap. Uh, those two, the Pittsburgh one and that one. It was a different story, but I was kind of content, but I always thought, oh, bro, I was so good. I love NHL jerseys. What, what do you like about the NHL jerseys? The logo is so huge. I mean, if you look at this, yeah, it's nice. It's okay. 
but you know those all short sleeve and shell jerseys i can wear them in winter it's like a pullover if the weather is not so cold but you need a really long sleeve those are perfect and you can wear it up a pullover under and then at work i just take the pullover off and have this one on and i'm never really too cold i love them you get a lot of material for your hockey jerseys i mean soccer jerseys unless you get the long sleeve or you know short sleeve it's very light it's more summery this is more wintry attire and there's something i absolutely love about this especially the huge logos so what other cool logos in the nhl the preds the sharks and i actually want to get an original a few original six teams i don't have original six yet which is uh new york boston rangers Bruins, Canadians, Maple Leafs, um, Red Wings and Blackhawks. I don't have one yet. I hope I will get one for my birthday and maybe one for Christmas. We'll see. But as for cool logos and colors, you know, the other thing is that NHL jerseys, soccer jerseys, there are only so many colors because it's not, you know, many teams are very old and there were only certain colors available. Uh, you cannot get crazy colors. Uh, orange for the Netherlands is already really crazy. However, in hockey, there are some crazy colors out there. And yeah, I wanted to get cool logos because my kids love the orca. They love the penguin, of course. You know, animals on, on, on there, they really love if I wear those. And yeah, I then I found the hockey guy who actually said, where can I get cheap jerseys? I read a lot about um, hockey by design, what are cool jerseys. And I always knew that, yeah, although I'm not a big fan of either of the two teams, the Nashville jersey, especially since they were quite good, and the Sharks jersey is kind of a must. And that's what I got next. The Nashville one I paid a lot. That was, hmm, I think I want to say 90 bucks. It was on sale, uh, but the logo, this is from the redesign, this is a yellow home jersey. Uh, they have a white away jersey, I mean, that's a little bit uh, contentious. But first of all, it's a completely different design. If you look before the colors on these, I always had, you know, this outline and the v-neck. This one is a completely different one, uh, going like that. Then the piping. You have kind of the teeth, you have the piping, and then you have just the right amount of navy blue, and then again some piping, which kind of frames the whole thing nicely. And I love that logo. I loved it from the beginning when I saw it. I know it's a little bit distorted, saber tooth cat, but there was always something I loved about this one. And Nashville was always riding high, and now this is such a loud jersey that it just. I thought I have to get this. Of course, there are some other features that I like a lot. Look at the color. Nashville is, of course, the country music capital, so there is a piano here. There's only one shoulder pad, but it's in the form of a guitar pick. This is the three stars from the flag of Tennessee and NP. Uh, I would love to see this on a main jersey. And then I got Shea Weber, who was actually traded. and That's why I probably got it even cheaper than not only did I have a new jersey, but uh, I got that I got ready, but I have the captaincy marker, so that was for me. But he was at the time when I got it, well, he wasn't playing in there. She well, but the six guitar strings here. I'm a music lover as well, not country music. I'm metal, but it just seemed to be too perfect for me to not have this one. Not sure if I need this Nashville back here. Uh, I also like, you know, you see here is the Again, this outline, it's actually very well designed jerseys, even down to the sleeves. Uh, I like, it's loud, it's definitely loud and a little bit obnoxious, but it's a great looking jersey. And then the last one that I have so far, uh, this one, I kind of got by myself. I got the okay from my wife, but I know she was not too much of a fan, but this one, she saw immediately. She loved that color, the shark's jersey, the teal. I got it. This is now the first one that has the drawstrings. Um, the one thing I have to say, I really would have liked to get this one with the number, but I just couldn't. It's also plain here because it's too plain. It's just the teal. And the only thing is the striping here on the sleeves. And there's only one orange here. 
the previous version was was too much. It had the stripes here with the orange going on both sides. Same thing here on the bottom and then a shoulder yoke in black also with an orange going around. That was too much. This is a little bit too little, honestly. But I like... This is the redesigned Shark's Crest that they redesigned for 2007. The previous one I didn't like because it's not as realistic. Yes, it's the classic one, but this one is so much cooler. That shark looks evil and dangerous. And I was going between the white, the black and this one. My wife said this is such a beautiful color. I should get this one. And I, I agree, it's a color I don't have in my arsenal yet. The black one, although the shark is a full shark and not in the triangle here, um, doesn't look as great. Maybe the one thing that's a little bit disappointing is that you only have that, that the shark is repeated here and they had a shark fin logo for a while. But yeah, all the new jerseys that I got since last Christmas, of course, have rebook here and rebook here on the back. You've seen me wearing this and the Nashville jersey a lot because they're the most recent ones that I bought. Maybe you've seen me with the penguin jersey and the other one too, but. I love this one. Yeah, that's my NHL jersey collection for now. It will come down tomorrow, as I said. I want to get two original six teams, and I think I will get two relatively quickly. Um, they will be, of course, also from Reebok. The Minnesota Wild look cool. I want to get um, a dark Avalanche jersey for sure. Calgary. Oilers. Canadians, maybe Bruins, I don't know, have to see. <laughs> I'm a little bit torn because I love soccer jerseys, probably an edge more, but I love my NHL jerseys. They're just a cool collection and they are re they are really comfy to wear when it's cold outside. That's what I love about them. Well, this was something different. My soccer universe going NHL, I might do the same thing. It's a little bit short if I look at NFL jerseys, or I should say um, uh, American football and rugby jerseys, because I have not even the same amount of jerseys there. Well, let me know what you think about this collection. I haven't even revealed to you my full uh, soccer jersey, jersey collection. Give me a thumbs up if you liked that video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this. And I'll be back with soccer tomorrow. Up until then, bye.